uh, conversation with Susie. Susie is over there on the beach. Okay, I am coming. I'm going near a beach. Welcome to an episode of Potion Soul Run. In this episode, I am chronicling my journey. Um, moving out this place and starting my van life. Don't have my van um, yet. But um, everything that I um, do that's gonna lead to that, I wanna start documenting and um, yeah, so we can start from the beginning, you know, instead of just starting from the van life. Um, because like I said, it's gonna take time. But um, in this episode, I'm just gonna be showing you stuff that I'm getting rid of and and yeah, a couple of items today. Uh, this is just a, a cool ass YouTube channel that I uh, found. Um, I don't know his name. I'll give it to you in the description right here on the, on the screen. But um, he's from Russia and he just, you know, shows his normal life traveling, doing stuff with his family, you know, just buying stuff. Just his normal life, just like a blog channel. But um, the thing that I like about it is just his demeanor. He's just like a cool guy. Um, who appreciates life and uh, you know I get inspiration from people like that and you know stuff like that I compare it to my own life and think you know why am I suffering working so much and not really enjoying it so um, you know like I said that's gonna be my journey that's gonna be my goal to work a lot less than I'm doing now maybe about 20 hours a week at most but still be able to live we'll see and today we're gonna be having some uh, what are these called again? Not golden crisps. Golden grams? I think they might be golden grams. I'm not really sure. I think they're golden grams. What are they called, Charlie? Huh? What are they called? They're called golden grams. I need, she needs a haircut. Um, she needs a bath. She'll be getting that today. And one thing I'm getting rid of, obviously, because um, it's going to take up too much space and I don't need it, is a paper shredder. Um, I got this because, well, it actually belongs to my ex, but, um, you know, she hasn't picked it up, so this is gonna go into the garbage. Um, another thing that she actually left me was this stool, which is pretty handy, you know, it was handy, but, um, it just don't need it, it's gonna be in the way again, and, um, I'm getting rid of it, uh, obviously, my garbage, um, but eventually, I will be getting rid of everything, like I said, I got rid of my entertainment system over there. Uh, my TV will be going soon, and my couch is gone. Uh, most of my furniture is gone. I still got randoms, um, but uh, all that stuff's gonna be going too. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I have a couple of light systems that I really like. Um, I don't really use them, but I really like them. So um, I know I have a case for them. I'm probably gonna keep them. Just keep them uh, uh, compact, and we'll see. We'll see what I do. Now, if you look at my room, it is in boxes. It's still in mayhem. Um, you know, I got my art supplies here. I got some tools over there. You know, I got some video games, some um, stuff in here. I don't even know what the hell's in there. Um, this box is just full of uh, cords and junk that I don't need, I don't think so. That's all going in the garbage. I think I need to go through all this stuff to see if I really need it. I need to go through those hard drives and take out anything that I need and kind of destroy them. Um, just a just bunch of old stuff. Um, here's all, here's my, I got myself a, uh, well, my aunt got me a Ninja um, air fryer. You know, it's like about 300 bucks or 400 bucks, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use it, tell you the truth. I might just have, end up giving this away to somebody, so we'll see. Um, then here's all like my uh, my light gear. Um, I'm gonna be throwing some of this stuff away because these are just uh, generic as, oh, except for this one, but um, these are generic uh, tripods. I don't really need, um, I haven't used them for so long, so. But I mean, my bed don't have a frame no more. I just have this little thing with my, uh, with my uh, Xbox. Uh, I, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, it's like I live in a, a sane asylum. But you know it is what it is in my clothes here. I want to see if I can condense my um, my clothes to a couple of totes or something, you know. Um, so I'm gonna be throwing away a bunch of other stuff. And all my white shirts are like very dirty now, so I'm gonna probably buy new ones. And it's a lot. It's a lot to get rid of when when you, you think you're gonna be living in a small space, you know. 
um, especially because I'm gonna be um, converting that space to f retrofit my cats. So, you know, all I'm really gonna have in there for myself is probably just a bed and a desk and somewhere to cook. <laughs> um, but the rest is gonna be, uh, you know, transformed for cats and I'll, I'll figure it out somehow. Um, and then plus the plan though, you know, is to eventually find somewhere to live um, where I can park my, my vehicle and um, live off like on someone's land or something. And the thing about the area where I work and live, um, there is a lot of uh, older rich white people who uh, have uh, land and um, actually do rent out to people. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> One thing I will miss about this place is this view. I'm able to look on my balcony and just see this. But I'll be seeing this a lot more if I'm out there on the road. At least that's the plan. And now I got to go to work. See, like my life is interrupted. I was um, in the middle of uh, doing some sketches for some new series I was going to do. And, you know, getting rid of other stuff. But um, work gets in the way. And the thing is, I don't mind working. It's just like... Like working too damn long like you know nine hours for so that i can rent this apartment that i don't want <laughs> that's gonna do it for this one until the next one peace